What's happening, family? How y'all doing? How y'all doing, man? We back in here with this hood fame, TSF, casino situation, the Texas situation currently going on right now. And I know a lot of this stuff took place over the last day and a half, but I wanted to wait until everything came out so I can give y'all the full perspective of everything that actually occurred. So I'm going to give it all to y'all. And if y'all seen the last video I posted, that is, you know, like the new initiation into this situation. Now, we know this situation been going on for quite some time. So ain't nothing going on with this new. But that was like the restart of this all. You feel me? But before we get started, y'all know, family, wipe your feet as you come in the door. And for the ones that don't know, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon and turn post notifications on all. That way you will be notified every time we drop a video. And also, stay tuned to the end of the video because it's something I want to holler at y'all about real quick, man. It's highly important just to explain to y'all everything that's been going on as well as, you know, the direction for the platform moving forward, man. The things that I want to do, a couple of ideals. And this time, man, I mean it, man. A couple of ideals that I really, you know, want to bring forth and uh, let me know y'all opinion on what y'all think about it, man, because... uh a new direction is definitely coming you feel me but on the cool man like i said we got this situation going on in texas from fort worth to houston and all around texas as y'all will see throughout the course of this video because uh sauce walker's reach is pulled it extends from you know the entire texas all the way out to tokyo japan just due to his business connections relationships and artists overall the man hey i can vouch for this the man has a lot of artists. I've been to a lot of different states, and in every state, there's almost a TSF member. But let's get down to this business, though. So why he decides to post this video of him and Sauce Woodwin from some time ago. We don't really know when it happened, but it seems as though the men had an altercation where they decided to settle it like brothers. Throw the fisty cuffs, put the gloves on, get out there and scrap it out. Seem like they're in a the garage or whatever. I can't show y'all the actual footage of them boxing. YouTube still don't like the boxing gloves, the backyard boxing. Even though there ain't nothing heinous or hostile here, they still don't like that. You feel me? So I can't post that for y'all, but y'all can see the framework of it all. Them in the garage and whatnot. Got some dude out there look like he refereeing. Well, Sauce Walker puts this video up, shows that, you know, he's willing to scrap. He love to scrap and he'll scrap anybody whenever there's a disagreement like a man is supposed to and then put this caption up under it and pretty much let go yeah yo no hey wood knows what my brother sauce woodman knows i will look at anything with two arms and two legs any human on earth this is how we settle issues daily no clout no money real g you know what psa all grease and misunderstandings between actual rap artists in the state of texas can be settled right here at the hashtag squabble factory hashtag guns down gloves up texas we're gonna make sure everyone goes home safe to their families no snake or slime activity no cell phone cameras only in-house footage given out at the artist's description i'm only posting this as examples as transparency for texas to get a small glimpse of what goes on daily at the sauce factory to settle any and all disputes as men as this policy extends to all visitors friends and family i want to see the real texas kings win and live long lives we're really on that bums need crumbs i punch for free i want to see you bums stay poor forever hands up for the free so with this being such a polarizing response coming by way of sauce walker after he responded to the go yeah yo say cheese interview where go yeah yo decided to disrespect this man's sauce and if y'all haven't seen that go check out the last upload you can see it there everything that went on well go yeah yo fans and go yeah yo himself caught whiff of this and what they did was they spun the narrative as if to make it seem like sauce walker was really being scary and uh trying to protect himself by not wanting to utilize cameras first the go yeah yo fan response Dude wrote a whole paragraph shaking my head. TSF dude's funny. He don't want cameras because yeah, y'all gonna dog walk him. As he shares 
Sauce Walker's response, a blog page. Another man responds and says, in a caption on top of an old video of Goyeyo scrapping somebody, they must have forgot, and tags Goyeyo and Hood Fame Slick, and y'all know Goyeyo shared that, and captions it with, I'm him, as if he's in agreement. Then another one where someone says, making Sauce look like he's scary, with the laughing emojis, as Goyeyo shares all that. Then Goyeyo decides to go ahead and put out a video, go live, where he got highly disrespectful towards that man Sauce Walker, and most importantly, and most disrespectfully, decided to disrespect Sauce Walker's dead mama. I put this on your dead mama. It's on your dead mama, Walk. He talking about that dead, that dead to right. They talking about Maggie. Dead. I put this on your dead mama. He talking about I beat the. Then Goyeyo decides to share a post of him getting flagged by Instagram that said we added restrictions to your account and called Sauce Walker a rat as he believes Sauce Walker had something to do with it. And of course, he goes on to share another post that says only my cousin will go to war with the entire Texas and Goyeyo decides to share that and say and when. So then we get a response from that man Sauce Walker. And first off, before I show y'all this response, I want to show y'all the reason why he's talking like this, because I've seen a lot of people saying, why is he talking like that? Why is he talking like that? Well, Sauce Walker went to the dentist before he put this up. Carla. What's up, man? We just pulled out his wisdom tooth after hours. What time is it? It's almost like eight o'clock right now, but he's going to feel a lot better. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> That's one piece. Came out in pieces, multiple pieces. Now, before I show y'all this response, I just want to say this, and I'm not choosing no sides. I'm just bringing y'all the facts. And the facts are, y'all can go check this out in the last upload that Goyeyo said on that Say Cheese interview, he did not want to scrap on camera when it came to scrapping somebody years back in their initial argument. He didn't believe in scrapping on camera. You smoking cigarettes, you want to be young boy so bad. I ain't never seen a nigga suck young boy dick. You worse than all the hoes from motherfucking uh, Herb Parker Houston that ran behind Hey, that boy bro. made a gang, that boy said, oh, slime. <laughs> then this nigga said he slime. This nigga don't know now nigga from Atlanta. That's in YSL. <laughs> you worse than the wood. I, man, you know what? Go to sleep, <laughs> Cause I ain't got nothing to do with the people. I'm just saying, the people don't know you. This nigga's a mascot. <laughs> this nigga said, please come sign me. What kind of bum ass nigga? Uh, yo. <laughs> That nigga said, I went inside. Nigga, you still asking for a deal? Hello. You 30. You 30 years old talking about a deal. That nigga said, I'm the person I will sign with this. Nigga, he in jail. Let that man fight his case. Yeah. Man, that's another thing. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. This nigga can't fuck with me on the Thursday evening. You won't come to the H. We know this. I'd like to see your video views doing nothing. I'd like to see your bum ass I'm still wearing a mirror that your partner bought six years ago. You ain't bought shit new. You're fat, you're lazy. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like the world to see you for the bum that you are. Oh, Boy, you need to sleep on my car like a little Big kid. Boy. Boy. Teasy. I've been your daddy. You all talk about some TJ. I'm the, I'm the I've been your daddy your whole career. You know it. Please, Nigga, you me. used to perm your hair, bitch. <laughs> you a hoe. You used to put a blonde streak in your hair like Ooh. a god boy. I forgot about that. <laughs> you look like a backstage dancer when you first came out, boy. I forgot about you that. You my goddamn son, nigga, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Now, I taught you everything you know, nigga. Nigga, <laughs> I taught belt to ass him. Come on, poor ass little nigga. Don't nobody want to see you. They want to see me. Man, I'll fight thousand niggas. I'll fight every motherfucker in the world on camera. Except for you, because I want you to stay po. We gonna fight five times. We fight all day if it was tonight. We gonna fight 50 times all day. I love that shit. Do what I do for fun, nigga. I ain't race my shit. Who got me, y'all? I, I enjoy this shit, but I want to continue to see you be poor. 
You don't have to earn yourself. He want charity of me. Yeah, exactly. That nigga want a stimulus check. Oh, if I fight off, what going to come? My life going to change. Who is this now? Bitch ass nigga. We gonna, you going to fight me like a man and under like real gangsters and gangbangers do. We ain't trying to get no credit and credibility. I just want to beat your bitch ass up. Bitch. Embarrass you. Oh, you talk crazy to your bitch ass as I'm punching you down. Tap that boy on the head. And that be that. You a hope for even still want to. All the shit I done did to you. You a hope for even still want to fight. I, you, you can lie to yourself, make yourself feel good at night all you want to, but you know. Me and you, you know. You know. <laughs> you know. Niggas have got me off my shit. So, man. I was going out too. If yeah. I was this tough ass, because you ain't never did. You can't you don't even have a, a simulation of all you do is two words. You know. So, but you still want to fight? Okay, tough guy. <laughs> Somebody car got flipped, huh? Yeah, crazy as hell, man. Who car got flipped? Don't want to fight. That's wild as fuck. Mm, when that? Um, I don't. Well, look here. I'm, I'm talking about fifth ward. That's what I know. Fifth ward, J Prince boxes. <laughs> you a hope for even still want to? All the shit I done did to you. You a hope for even still want to fight? I, you, you can lie to yourself, make yourself feel good at night all you want to, but you know me and you, you know, you know, <laughs> you know. Niggas have got me off my shit, So, I've been, I was going out, too. If I was this tough ass, because you ain't never did. You can't even, you don't even have a, a simulation of all you do is two words. You know. So, you still want to fight? Okay, tough guy. Somebody car got flipped, huh? Yeah, crazy as hell, man. Who caught that fifth? Don't want to fight. That's wild as fuck. Y'all see what he had to say about that. But like I said, if y'all go check out the last upload because it's chopped up for y'all to see everything that I'm talking about a lot easier than going to the full interview from Say Cheese, y'all will see Go Yayo saying he felt like that was some buster stuff that they was trying to fight on camera. And now you got his fans saying that Sauce don't want to fight on camera because he's scared. Even though Sauce is doing that to try to uh, please him and make him come get down, in my opinion. Now, I don't know if that's the reason why Sauce is doing that, but that's what I read from that situation. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that and what y'all think he meant by that. But of course, here's where we get that man, Lil CJ Casino. Now, Lil CJ Casino, he goes ahead and posts this pick between him and Sauce. Of course, letting the world know, he on Sauce's side, we all know that. Then he goes on to say this. Now he wanna argue with somebody outside the city. Scary A dude, must didn't know I was coming right to you dude street. And if y'all seen that last upload, once again, and I hate to keep reiterating on that, but if y'all seen that, y'all seen him and Lil CJ Casino get into it as well, because Goyayo spoke on CJ in that Say Cheese interview too. And like I told y'all, I got another video coming of the back and forth that been going on secretively that y'all see as well. Then CJ goes on to say this, who want to bet they ain't never going to pull up? I was just on a block and they ain't show up. They show ain't going to travel to Houston for no grease. Y'all believe anything. First day we got into it with Yayo, we flipped his stuff. Last time we caught that boy, he was in a neck brace, thanking God he was still breathing. Y'all thought he just had a wreck. No hood fame dudes had ever touched me. Can't spud me without getting boomed. That's why he's scared of me. His mama know what's up with me. Then that's when we get a response from Sauce Walker's right-hand man's Sauce Woodwin. As he states, Wood been pushing stuff forever. I'm humble about it. But today, my NUT's gonna drag. Hashtag, Selinski Street, Sherwood. Then he says, where all that tough stuff at? These dudes be talking about, though. And then decides to go ahead and take to his Instagram to put up this video where he calls them all out and tells Go Yayo's big homie, Coon Pappy, to set everything up. Today is the motherfucking day. We finna keep it smooth, 
put them guns down, my nigga, and make this shit say, yeah, yo, have that nigga come, baby, hit me up. We finna set this shit up for this shit to go just how everybody want it to go, my nigga. We finna do it just like everybody want it to go. Motherfucking me, it's enough of y'all, it's enough of us. So everybody else that got something to say, let's put that shit together too, nigga. You know, I'm straight direct. I've been crushing shit. I've been handling my business, and I'm standing on 10. And all the disrespect shit gonna stop today. We gonna set it up. Yeah, nigga, let's do it. Yo, it be grown men out here saying shit like this. I still be looking out for people after they do me wrong. My heart just big. You can't tell me I ain't real. Newsflash, you're not real. You're a dumbass. A grown man being voluntarily. Then that man Coon Pappy decides to respond to all this. And before I show y'all everything, I want to say this, man. I had a clip of him saying something like he ain't worried about a rap clown or he'll do something to a rap clown. But I guess I deleted it and he took everything down. But first he says, need cover art ASAP who can do some turnaround work. And this is going to make sense here in a second. Y'all just stay tuned and let's read what else was said. His partner go ahead and tags him for his birthday and say, happy C-Day to my brother from the funk. Real hood fame dude from the war to the murder. You know we locked in, Crip. Hood fame coon pappy. No paragraph needed. That's a jab. Know my iron work for you, kid. Enjoy your day. That's a jab at Sauce. Because they saying Sauce put out a whole paragraph. So he's saying he don't need a paragraph to speak on anything. His iron work. Then finally, Coon Pappy says, need cover art for my single, no saucing. So that's why he was asking for the cover art, because he putting out a new single called No Saucing, which is a diss song that Sauce Walker in there. Then we get that man Vucci, as Vucci puts out a picture where he takes a jab and says, Vucci, life just be lifing. Dude's happy, bro. Me, I'd rather be mad rich. Then we get a response lightweight from this man L Train as L Train puts out the viral video. An envious person is the worst kind of person because they will kill you, they will betray you into the hands of your enemy. Then he shares one of his older posts from a couple weeks ago where he was speaking game on dudes and I felt like it was relevant towards the situation. So used it as a jab and said, jealousy and envy, stay away from me. Y'all see the rest. I ain't even going to read all that. I ain't trying to run it on too long, but y'all check out these videos. Early in the morning, some of y'all still ain't y'all. I got some news you can use. Jealousy and envy are like twin sisters. They act like they're part of your program system. Fuck with your all the extra shit. Till what you got going on don't fit their narrative. Don't fit their illusion of things and how it's supposed to go. And then comes the hate. I associate them as female sisters, might I add, because when men act jealous and envious, they become like bitches, not men. The women, uh, stay away from motherfuckers who jealous and Then we get a response from Go Yeah Yo's right hand man, that manhood fame slick, as he gets the most disrespectful, shares the video and says, on blood, y'all suck. What is this, man? And then goes on to share this post, a poll where he says, all BS aside. I want y'all to vote so I can prove I'm right. And says, is Rizzo the weakest in the TSF? DM address to the factory will come at Sauce Walker TSF. And most disrespectfully of all, he decides to share Sauce Gohan picture and says, bro caught one to the eye. Tell me he don't look like Fetty Wap with laughing emojis on target and at Sauce Gohan in this. So Sauce Gohan decides to respond and he says this. <laughs> this is what I'm saying though. Hold on. This is what I'm saying though, man. I don't give no fuck if a nigga look like Fetty Wap, whatever, my nigga. I got more money than you, more cars than you, my house bumps, my nigga. I got more shit than you will ever have or think of in life. And then on top of that, I done stood on way more motherfucking niggas than you done ever thought of in your motherfucking history of motherfucking war with niggas. So don't even come. With me, nothing I got going on, my nigga, on Vice Lord. That's the reason why I look like Fetty Wap. Because I'm really out here in this business. I'm really out here standing on that shit, my nigga. Fuck you talking about real life. And that prompts Hood Fame Slick to respond again as he says with the laughing emojis. So you mad? Not gonna lie. I just watched this stuff to see your eye, man. Shut up. So, Gohan, he responds again and says, Dudes act like they won't beef, but really don't want to come start with us. 
with the little demon face emojis then says this or shows off his paper his video and whatnot and lets them know it's spooky season movie time you know what the fuck going on man movie time in the mansion you did Nigga, and this shit thick too. Thick too, right? This shit thick too. You know what I'm saying? This shit thick. <laughs> Fuck you, talking about business. Real business. What the mother niggas talking about? What the mother niggas talking about, man? You know what I'm saying? What the mother niggas talking about, man? You know what I'm saying, man? Look at this, man. You know what's going on? Spooky, spooky mind. Still a chance it just be a traumatic compression fracture? Which is why I'll need an MRI. You know what I'm saying? It goes down. It's traumatic or pathological. Thank you. And finally, Gohan says, I've been flipping, twerking, putting in work. Ain't too long till I'm shining. Hashtag C Files. Hashtag CBFW. Almighty. Then we get a final response from Slick. As he gives an update on the Rizzo situation and says it's been an hour, gang. At Rizzo Rizzo, you is the weakest. Told you. Ah, I'll get with you tomorrow. As y'all see, it says 79% believe that Rizzo Rizzo is the weakest out of TSF. Then we got a TSF member who gives a final response for TSF. As he says, don't DM me. You see this big A TSF chain on my neck. I'm outside daily with my brothers from my city. We spank stuff for real. Central Texas. Know that. Hashtag MGOG. Hashtag Big Money Made. Hashtag TSF Waco. Hashtag TSF Business. As he goes on to show a video warning the opposition, like you come down here playing around outside and y'all gonna get stepped on. Nigga, if you ain't got that phone, you outside, fuck nigga. You better stay inside, nigga. Cause I'm telling you, nigga, good. you walk up on these right here, nigga, you ain't gonna get hit with something, boy. What you doing, good. And I just want to say this about the entire situation. As y'all see this picture of Give Money Lil Ronnie and Soldier Boy together. We all know Hood Fame and Soldier Boy. Hey, they signed to Soldier Boy. So they have access to PAPE as well. We know TSF got access to PAPE. Walk going to get it, do his thing. He's going to get his bread. And uh, he got endless connections. Both sides do. So things can be very ugly allegedly let me say that this is allegedly something that could get ill of course they trying to put the guns down pick the gloves up which i most personally respect i'm gonna be real with y'all man i'm tired of all the extra stuff rappers you know young black men losing their lives to all the back and forth and you know i'm also tired of all of the bickering like females between men instead of y'all y'all going meeting up and settling y'all differences like men y'all got the means to right y'all got the pay to travel from state to state uh across you know continents and whatnot why y'all can't meet up if y'all in the same city or even if you know it's you live on the east coast this person live on the west coast y'all got the money to go across the world y'all should be able to meet up and handle that like men settle it like men hit the boxing ring and do what y'all supposed to do instead of you know all these public displays of just bickering i mean it's exhausting let's just keep it 100 on the cool but like i told y'all in the beginning man i got a message for y'all at the end and this is my message man i've been telling y'all that i want to bring more positive stuff to the platform so slowly but surely i'm gonna bring a lot of that different stuff here man a lot of uh diverse stuff that i never really did on here man but uh more so centered around the truth and positivity man i read a lot i study a lot i learn a lot and I, I, I came upon a lot of interesting stuff that I want to present to y'all. Hopefully y'all uh, can sit down and just give it a chance, man. Give it a chance to support the next journey and, you know, the elevation of this platform, man. Uh, uh, growing to another place. Whether that is 
growing in numbers that's not really the goal the goal is you know to help us grow as collective with this new step that i'm trying to make man because all this negativity and darkness honestly man it didn't took a toll on me i had to take a step back as well as you know youtube messing with me but most importantly i had to take a step back for my own spiritual reasonings for my soul man because a lot of these topics that we speak on man it, it really it, it takes a toll on you on a cool man you know especially for someone who don't even like to be involved in this type of stuff you feel me so y'all gonna see a, a major directional change with the platform and hopefully y'all rocking with me for the ones who are salute i love you peace and blessings always and even for the ones who ain't peace and blessings you know salute is still love ain't no love lost you know i understand that you ain't made it to this point yet where you ready to see some truth and ready to see some change hey hopefully eventually you know the most high will allow you to grow but you know all of this stuff gotta give and you know it's a time it's time for a change man it's time for a change ain't none of us getting any younger and uh imagine what this drama is doing for you internally spiritually soulfully all right we gotta get past all this you feel me but y'all let me know how y'all feel like comment and subscribe and i will be back with another one hopefully you know y'all rocking with the new trajectory of the channel man if not like i said hey more power to you still peace and blessings kings and queens still love you brother and sister but uh our past is gonna, you know, go separate ways.